everybody. Welcome to one of my how-to videos. This is Scott's Peer Repair. Um, this is for the iCamera 2, uh, the iCamera 2. The, uh, how to pair it with the Y cable connector instead of the Wi-Fi. Um, I will put a link in the, I'll put a, I'll try to put the video in the video for the Y, the Wi-Fi WPS. Um, if you can't get past the UI lock at all, it will, this will not work for you. I'm talking about the user interface access, but I'll show you how to get, I'll show you how to access it. But again, if you can't still do the get command and it still won't let you in the uh, user interface on the camera, it won't let you. It is factory locked, just to let you know, okay? All right, here we go. This is the connector I'm talking about. This is required. If you don't have this, you cannot do this. You can maybe find this on eBay. Um, this it's, it's, it's is the Y connector for the iCamera 2. This is to you go through the Ethernet cable instead of through the Wi-Fi connection. As it said, if you can't access the user interface, even using the get code, the get command, and the get command will be in the bottom below of the um, of that of in the description below. And the mother requirement is another program called Advanced IP Scanner. You're going to need to download that. That will be in the bottom description below. Also, the link to download that. So I'll show you how to do all that here. But this is what this is. This you're going to need the power cord. Also, this requirement and Ethernet cable and your and access to your modem or router. Okay, let's get to the part plugging it in. Okay, I got it all plugged into my router on the whatever open port you have or on your modem or your router. You got to have it plugged into your router or modem. Okay. Next step, you need to plug the camera in. Okay, let it initialize. Okay, after it initializes, let the light show up like this. Um, I recommend you reset the camera itself. I recommend you do that. There's a button back of here, right here, located. You can see it. Um, it might you might be able to do it with your finger, but find like a screwdriver or something to press and hold it down. Yeah, hit the like, subscribe button, and like button, please, and the bell for notification for future videos. Okay, let's go over this. Uh, make sure. Okay, yeah, make sure I got it on there. Okay, hold it for ten. Uh, get my hands on it. Hold it for ten seconds. Let go, let it reinitialize again. This is how you reset the camera to factory. Okay, it's fully initialized. Again. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go to the computer to show you what you got to do. All right. I'm on my computer right now. First thing I would like to recommend you to check 
Um, go to your web browser, wherever you prefer to use. I use Firefox myself. Um, actually, yeah, you want to go to uh, the link. Actually, go to the link below in the description for Advanced IP Scanner. You're going to need that to find out what your IP address is on your camera. Just let you know. So that link is below in the description. So when you click download, let it download, you'll see up here. Go ahead and open it. If you can't end up if you miss it, or if it be the down or download it'll be down here below or up there on the top. So if you use uh, Chrome, uh, if you use Chrome down here. Okay. When you open it up, the program. I have a way how you want to do it. Make sure it's like your language you prefer to read. Click OK. You do not have to install this. You can run it as a the portable version. If you want, that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to run it as a portable version. Okay, you can click that. Click Next. Click I accept the agreement. Then click Run. Okay, and then after you get this, you see this box right here, and it'll show your IP of most of your IP address right here, what your current default IP address is. And um, after you get ready, just click scan. It'll scan all your computers on your network, whatever's on your network, and everything. Cell phones, even if you already have security cameras installed on this system. But the wait for the scan is complete. Okay, the scan is complete. Do you see this? This I got already two other. Actually, you got two others on the on my uh, Wi-Fi uh, my connection already ready to already set up and go. Is this one? You see, it looks for saying it's a Sircom Corporation. Most likely, that's what's going to say. It's Sircom Corporation. That would be your IP address for that camera. That right there. Now, not this IP I'm showing. This IP. This whatever IP comes up when you scan it. Not this IP address. Okay, so your IP address is going to be different than mine. Just to let you know. Okay, all right, and let's uh, go to your web browser, open a, a new uh, tab, or just open a new uh, page up. Go up here to your top of your bar. Um, this is before if they don't have to unlock the UI, just uh, the user interface. I'm going to tell you I'm going to have to do it with this, but sometimes you don't. That's it's very rare. You type your IP address according to your camera. Like that, like so. Hit enter. This is where the user interface is locked. I have to put the get command in. The get command I'm going to have is in the description below. You have to type it after your IP address. You can copy and paste it. Okay, once you get your uh, copy, the get command, go up to where your you see your IP address right here. Highlight this whole right this whole thing right here. All the way up to the end of the IP address. After you copy. Right click it, paste, because it's going to be like it's be your IP address, forward slash ADM, forward slash ENABLE, underscore UI, dot CGI. Okay? I said that command will be in the below, but you got to put your IP in, not mine, and go ahead and press enter. 
Then you'll get an OK, as you see on my top screen. It's an OK right there. That means the user interface is unlocked. But again, um, it'll tell, even though the user interface is locked by the manufacturer, this still will give you the OK. But you'll still want to be able to access it. You won't, you'll still get the error code 404 if they can't access it. Okay? All right, after you get that done, go back up to your address bar. Back, uh, uh, erase the, uh, after the IP address and put the, the IP address of your cam of the eye camera and press enter. And you should be access to the user interface, like so. So now you can access all this, the administrator settings for networking, wireless setting, stuff, everything else. So. That's how you access that and set it up through the user interface. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, if this pops up, it should usually it pops up. It should have popped up in the first place. I don't know why it didn't. But again, it's probably safe. Again, if this pops up, I'm sorry about that. The uh, the password, uh, the, there'll be no password. Okay. And you want to put administrator. I'll put that in there too. On the bottom of the description. Oh, geez. But that's it. That's how you access the user interface on the camera with the wide connector. As I said, the, um, the username will be administrator if it asks for it, and it's going to be in below. No, there be no password if it's on factory settings. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for future videos. Until next time, have a good one.